Well, hello YouTube, I'm Gigi Alive and welcome to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before, I am a reseller online on Poshmark, Macari, and also Let Go. And I also like to do health videos. I um, also like to talk about plant-based dieting and plant-based lifestyle. And I also like to, um, which I'm just trying, I'm really just really becoming mainly plant-based this year. Well, last year I started, but really doing it more so this year, completely trying to do it. And also, I'm really into theater arts. I have a theater arts group here in Houston that I'm trying to make all my money from um, my Poshmark sales and all my reselling go towards a community theater here in Cypress, Texas, where I live. But with that being said, let me talk a little bit about one of the issues I was having this weekend. Oh, by the way, today is 2020 um, Martin Luther King's um, holiday today and so we were off today for Monday but let me go ahead and talk about one thing that I talked about in my last video if you watch my last video I talked about how I was getting really good deals at the Bed Bath & Beyond that is going out of business in my area and how I was very happy to see that I got some curtains and the curtains were Originally, I believe I was told they were 130 or something like that, 150, 150. And so I showed you guys last video this. These are the curtains, and this is the price of the curtains. If you can see it, and if you can see it, it's $69, like $70. And these are blackout curtains, and the color of the curtain is kind of a bluish gray. They call it slate. So these are the blackout curtains. Okay, so here is the problem. I got the curtains, and I don't mind showing you my, um, my husband put them up this weekend, but I was a little bit disappointed because we only were able to get three at 120, and we have really large, I mean, really, really large um, windows. And I'll show you in a few minutes, but these are 120 inches. It's really hard to find 120 inch curtains. And especially at a good discount. So $69 was what it was listed for. And I went back this weekend and I really didn't expect to find them any, any less than that. But they were 75% off. So I was so excited. And on my last video, I talked about how I got three curtains and actually one of them, actually I bought four curtains, but one of the four, was um, 84 inches. And so really I only had three curtains that actually were the right size. So my husband put them up this weekend. And like I said, we have very tall, tall ceilings and tall um, cur curtain, well, tall windows. Um, so basically when you put them up, it didn't go as low as I really would prefer them to go. I wish it just had like another 10 inches, but they look decent, they look good. So. I said, well, you know, this other, this 84 inch one is not going to do. It just is a little bit too short. The other ones are a little too short, but you can, you know, manage it. But this one, I really think we need to get 120, you know, for this one. So he said, well, I'm going to go online and we'll just have this 84 inch one to be a panel. We'll use another room. And I said, okay, yeah. So he went online and he said, we can probably find it. And I said, well, it's going to be really expensive because these were um, like $150 curtains, what I was told, either $130, $150. So I was like flabbergasted when he told me that actually they were $38 online. $38 online. So basically these curtains that I thought were so expensive and they were discounted to $70 and then I got 75% off of $70, which made them about $20, were actually $38 online. So basically they up-priced the discounted items. And if you notice, I showed y'all this the last video. Well, actually I can't do it on this one. This one didn't have the, um, the, the other, I had another, another bag, I guess I, I saved it. And it had a price tag that was different and it was blacked out so you couldn't see it, but it's on my other video. 
please watch my other video. You can see what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, they actually had it probably for the $38 in the store and then upped it to $70 and then took 75% off. So basically, I wasn't getting the greatest deal, which is a little bit upsetting for me because I love to find a good deal. When I tell you all about a good deal, I'm you know not telling you because I want to be lying. I'm telling you because I want to be honest. So anyway... We're gonna, we ordered the ones online so we can have the extra, but that really upset me and disappointed me. And I know the people who were there probably already knew that they were doing that. Making some money still. Anyway, retailers do different things. You never know how much things are gonna cost. Someone asked me, if I'm a reseller and I get good deals, why don't I sell the items for the same price that I get them at Goodwill or I get them at, um, you know, any place that's clearancing. And my response is very simple. The same way that any retailer can change a price and make it higher and flip it for more money to make a profit is the same thing that a reseller does. A reseller who is, you know, basically there to make money, but also there to give clothes or items a second life, um, has to hold on to those items. They have to make sure those items are going to sell. And if they don't sell, they get, get to discount them. But they never, if they're really going to be a good reseller, they never should take an item and sell it for the same price that they got it for. That would just not make any sense. And one of the things I love about Poshmark is, yes, I can take discounts anytime I want on any item I want to sell. And also, I can have um, items that are quality items um, go for a decent price. So I'm not, I'm not being bombarded with a lot of people who are trying to lowball me on Poshmark. On other sites, they do that more often. So anyway, I look really hard to try to find good deals and flip them. My goal is not to make a whole lot of money. I mean, I'm not trying to you know, rip people off, but I do want to be able to make my money back and more because I do take very good care of the items. And I also make sure that I um, take good pictures and I send them out on time. And I also make sure that I am holding these items for sometimes even a year before they make it sold. So in doing so, I need to treat myself not like I'm Walmart, but more like, you know, I'm Nordstrom's because a lot of these items came from places like Nordstrom's and they were actually really good quality items. So I wouldn't go and sell them or resell them for less than what they deserve to get, what I deserve to get. Um, I think of my clothes as like my babies. <laughs> and so I take very good care of them. And I think about not just my clothes, all of my items that way. So let's talk about my haul that I had today at Goodwill. Today was 75% off of red tag items. So the first thing I want to just pull out was a shocker. This is a really cute purse. Very cute purse. And it is a coach purse. Coach purses are not going as high as they used to go, but it's still good quality. And you always want to make sure the zipper works whenever you're getting a purse, because sometimes they're donated because the zipper doesn't work. And you always want to make sure that it has the information on the inside to make sure they're not a fake. Sometimes fakes can still have information on the inside, but you do want to go ahead and do your research and look up to make sure that that is the right serial number on that um, information. So basically, this is the price I, this was, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, can you see what it says, $24.99? So this was $24.99, and I honestly would not pay $24.99 at Goodwill for a coach purse. I maybe would pay it for a Kate Spade, maybe I would pay it for a, um, um, my, not even Michael Kors. Um, maybe I would pay it for Tory, Bor Tory Birch. Has a tag down here too. But not for um, this item. Not at Goodwill. But I got 75% off for this one. Since I got 75% off, I can sell it for about $30 starting out. I wouldn't go lower than 20 on a Coach Purse because it's a really good bag. So that's a good deal. 75% off is a good deal for that one of $25, basically. 
Then I found another one, which is a nice cute bag. I think it's adorable. And it's not a high designer. It's not a designer bag. I was surprised when I looked inside. I always make sure that your zippers work, like I said. And I was surprised when I looked inside. It also has a cosmetic bag with it. So that's a nice extra bonus thing. And of course, the zipper works. But when I looked at the label on this designer, it says Lancome. So this is a Lancome exclusive bag that was probably done as a gift for, um, it was probably done as a gift for, here it is, for uh, makeup or for a, um, for makeup or for a, or for a perfume item. So sometimes they do these special, my family is home and they're being very loud. I'm sorry about that. But it's a nice bag, nice pretty bag. So $7.99 and 75% off of $79.99, that's a good deal. I have my receipts, just in case you don't believe me. We'll go ahead and do those real quick. Now the Fry Road, I'm sorry, the Goodwill I went to is the Fairfield Goodwill. And you see, I only spent $21, about $22 total for everything that I bought today. And I'll show you what I got. And that dress, I'm sorry, that purse was actually $6.25 for the coach purse and then $2 for the other bag. That's pretty good. So, also, I checked out the dresses. One of my favorite designers is Loft by Ann Taylor. And I just like this print a lot. It's really cute. Really cute print. And this dress was, I believe, let me just make sure. When I'm talking about dresses, I got three dresses at $2 each. So that's a $2 dress. And then, okay, now this dress is going to be mine because it does not, someone took the tag, and I hate when people do that. If you're going to donate a, an item, please don't take the tags off on the inside. I understand that it might be itchy when you're wearing it or whatever, but it's very difficult for us to resell if we don't have a tag. So that was disappointing for me to see that this one didn't have a tag. But if you look at it, it's a very nice formal dress, very sparkly, and it has a split on the side, this gathering. And I don't even know what size it is. So, I mean, that's very disappointing that someone took the tag off. But I think I will keep this one for myself. Again, it was $2, and that's why I grabbed it. On with more, more dresses. Another one that I find a lot is BCB Generation, which I think they've gone out of business. I'm not sure. I need to check out. But this one is a mini skirt type dress, a mini lace dress, and has a long back out. I was surprised it was actually a dress. I thought it would be a top because it's so short. But it's cute. So that was $2 as well. Okay, getting into some tops I found. J. Crew is one that actually sells very good on Poshmark. And this J. Crew sweater, it's super cute. It has like the, it's almost like a hoodie, but it's a turtleneck. And it has pockets, it's just really cute. Nice and soft too, really soft. Very nice for this weather that we're having right now in Houston, which is like super cool that the weather is actually cool. I love cold weather. <laughs> I hate the heat. So me living in Houston is very difficult for me because I have um, lupus and I have uh, menopause, I have thyroid problems, so I get a lot of hot flashes and I have photosensitivity. So it's really hard living in Houston. So cold weather's great. So this is Body Elements. And I really like this top. Um, this is in the back, this um, the cute style. So got really cute sleeves too. And it's extra large, really cute. Okay, my tops, oh, getting into my tops, I'm sorry. My tops went for, 
a dollar fifty. So that was a dollar fifty for that one. And as I was like trying to look through things, my daughter grabs me and she's like, I have to go. We can't be here all day. You've been here for 40 minutes. So like 40 minutes, honey. If you were at school and it was a Monday, I would have gotten here right after right after I dropped you off at school and I would be here until probably, I don't know, two hours. I spend lots of time at Goodwill on Mondays because it's 75% off. So this is one I never heard of before, but it looked like it looks pretty trendy. And it's a, oh, it's one of the dresses actually. I don't think it's a top. It was in the top area, but it's like a dress. So it's kind of cute. Maybe it is a dress, but to me it looks like a maybe it looks like a, a top, but I don't know. Anyway, dollar fifty for tops, two dollars for dresses, and then I got this one for my daughter. Black girls rock. Just a cute T-shirt. Okay, so let me just show you really quick. Um, my bedroom and my curtains so you can see what I was talking about and I do love these curtains oh yeah this is my closet just real quick just so you I've already shown my closet to everyone but let me just show it again real quick I have lots of space up there to put more Poshmark items as you see where I keep my purses yeah and I got more purses up here and I have my shoes. So I've got some more items to process over here. I put a dresser in here. So that way when I'm processing my items, which I'm going to do those purses, which I did a video on last week, I'm processing those this week to put them online, to put them on Poshmark and Macari. So this is my closet. That's my Afrina from my my dear which is an altar for her uh -huh. so this is my closet oh my goodness okay walking backwards here going into my bathroom okay 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 I can do it I can walk backwards <laughs> it's kind of fun actually okay so you can see my curtains Those are my curtains. Oh, can you see them? They look pretty good, but I need to, I needed to have one more. So I have one more that my husband ordered online, like I said, for $38. And I just needed some blackout because these are some very tall windows. And with the um, light coming in, it would just get really, really bright. And sometimes I like to have a nap during the day. So... Anyway, they look pretty good with the the style of my room. Did you see my room? Okay. Whew. Anyway, all right, I am out. <laughs> so those are the curtains, and I um, was disappointed that I did not have the um, the sale that I was hoping for. But for the most part, I did get a good deal because I did end up paying 38 online, so that's still not bad. So anyway, if you like this video, please like and share and subscribe. And I will have a new video about plant-based diet. I'm going to try to do it tomorrow about a plant-based recipe that I'm going to put and share online. So on my YouTube and also on my Instagram. So please, if you could keep up with me and um, watch me on my plant-based journey and also my reselling on Poshmark. Like, share, and please please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great night.